Zach here. Today I'm with Coda of Steam Fairy. We're going to be doing a Little Mermaid steampunk transformation. Using a stippling brush, I am using Mary Kay's oil mattifier. It will keep your look matte all day. Now I'm going to conceal under her eyes and around her nose just to get rid of any redness and then I'm going to go ahead and apply her foundation. Now using a foundation brush, I am going to use a darker foundation to contour her face. I'm going to put it under her cheekbones, under her jawline, on the tip of her nose, and her forehead. And I'm going to blend it in with a beauty blender. Using a big fluffy brush, I am going to powder her foundation. Using Lime Crime's new eyeshadow brightener, I'm going to prime her lids. Using a small shadow brush and Lime Crime's China Doll palette in Jade Olade, I'm going to apply that to her lids. We're going to take that above her crease because we really want that color to show. Using a blending brush, I'm going to blend all of that out, moving upwards. Using the small shadow brush, I'm going to go back to Jade Olade and bring that down underneath her eye. And with the same brush, I'm going to Lem Crime's Alchemy palette and using the color Love Potion number nine, and blending that into the Jade Olade. Using a blending brush, I'm using a darker blue shadow, and I'm blending this into her crease. Using the same blending brush, I'm using Lime Crime's Alchemy palette in Spellbound to highlight her brow bone. So now I'm using Lime Crime's soon to be released glitter helper and applying it to her lids. But now we're going to apply a chunky glitter that looks like mermaid scales to her lids. I am patting it on gently to where we applied our glitter helper. I'm using a pencil brush and the color Seahorse Discourse from the Aquatania palette and I'm applying it to the inner corners of her eyes. I'm using this teal liquid liner to accent the edges of her shadow. So I'm applying the glue to my hand and I'm going to run the strip through the glue. I'm going to wave the lash around like a crazy person and wait for it to get tacky. I'm applying her lashes. I am trying to get them as close to her lash line as possible. So a cool trick I learned recently, you can use a makeup sponge and set it in between your lashes and your shadow. So when you're applying your mascara, it doesn't get on your shadow. I am using a spoolie brush to just comb through her brows and I'm going to set them with some brow gel. With an angled brush and red shadow, I'm going to define her brows. I'm using a big fluffy brush and Tarte's blush in Glisten and applying that to her cheekbones. It's a beautiful corally color, fit for mermaids. And now for lips, I am using Lime Crime's lipstick in Coquette. And then I'm patting on their Zodiac glitter in Leo. 